but check this hood out. I love it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax Garage. Today, we are switching out my C6 Corvette hood with an Anderson carbon fiber hood. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a reminder, this is the last month to win your $6,400 Sonic Toolbox. All you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel, leave a comment below. Every comment is one entry, one entry per video. And how to earn bonus points is go to gastax.com, support the channel, buy some merchandise, and every dollar you spend gets you three entries to win $6,400 of Sonic Tools. been a while since I have filmed or worked on a car right here is my 2008 Z06 Corvette I absolutely love this thing I never was a Corvette fan until my buddy got a Corvette told me the specs and I tell you what I love it I don't ever want to get rid of it and I've been tracking it quite a bit I have more miles on the track on this car than actually on the road. That's why I got the super sweet wing, 71 inches. It's an APR carbon fiber wing on the back. I will be doing a review on that shortly, and I'll be going over my track times at Road America. You waiting for them to flag me for something? Because I'm too damn good! <laughs> One thing this thing does suck at is it gets hot, super hot. Well, I guess when you drive as good as me, uh, it's bound to get hot. So in order to help everything cool down, my brakes, my engine, all the fluids, I decided to go with this Le Mans style carbon fiber vented hood. Now, if you don't track a lot or if you daily drive this, apparently this is not a good hood because, you know, all the water just goes straight in. Luckily, I have a four car garage and I will be keeping this baby inside. But I think this is a relatively easy install. So let's get removing this hood uh take some parts off of this hood put them on there and throw this hood on and see how it looks all right so guys to remove the hood pretty simple you got two bolts down here on either side we need to take the locking hardware off um i uh, clearly am missing one of those little uh, stoppers if you can see that so uh, i guess we're not going to take that off or maybe there's only one i don't know but no, there should be two. Anyways, I'll take that off and transfer it. But check this hood out. I love it. I don't know how smart this is to do with one person, but I don't have more than one person yet. I'm gonna move you so I don't squish you. for the good catch but now my ratchet's inside <laughs> Got it. so if you're doing this yourself and you don't want to scratch your paint I would put protection here and there and then undo the first the lower bolts first and then use it as a pivot and now it is all undone so I'm gonna take it off ah. Alrighty, they have a little pico point at the front, so just put a uh, rag down there. And now I'm gonna flip this around and see what accessories we gotta remove from this to mount this. So let's just feel the weight difference here. Okay, that's pretty light. Maybe double, double the weight. I'm not really worried about weight because you've seen me. Uh they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> the fastest way to drop weight on my race car is actually me to lose weight. So what Anderson does say you need is you need heat protection on here, which to me seems pretty crazy. So I have some uh, adhesive reflective uh, heat tape but there's not much surface area on here. Uh, I could see putting one big piece here, one here. 
a little bit here, here, to me it just will look will look like a hack job. So I'm actually gonna mount this on. Once it's on, I will figure out the heat. Obviously, they say if you don't put heat tape, there's no warranty, <laughs> is what it is. But let's see what needs to be removed. So I need to order another one of these because clearly I'm missing one. I need to remove these uh, clips, but I can do that after I've mounted the hood uh, and once it's standing vertically there. Uh, this does come with new hardware, so that's nice and then I will just use some blue Loctite. So let's get this installed. One thing they also say is they do not want you to use uh, hood struts or shocks. I don't know if you guys remember, a couple videos ago, these shocks could not hold up the, the stock hood. So I replaced them with brand new shocks, but I kept the old ones because they are worn out and weak. So I will use them, so I've already voided my warranty which I don't care about. That way I can open the hood at the track to let it cool down. But since those ones are weak already, they shouldn't have excess force on this hood. All right, I don't really think you need any protection over there because it doesn't touch there since I'll just be laying the hood down like this. So I just got some towels there. I will leave these pieces of wood on there. Oh yeah, so much lighter. <laughs> All right, so the hardware that came off is 13 millimeter. The hardware that comes with it is uh, 916s. I am not going to lock tight it just yet. Obviously, I want to see fitment first. So it looks like this needs to be lifted up a bit. My Milwaukee compressor might be able to help out. It feels like it's cross threading a little. Let's reposition this. Much better. Just trying to get all the four bolts in a little bit. And I can screw around. Have you guys seen my chair? What do you think? Link down below if you want one. Anyways, so those are all hand tight. Let's remove these and fool around with fitment. All right, these are removed. These are metric uh, for whatever reason, uh, 10 mil. They are just shipping hardware. Here is your actual hardware for when you remount the hooks. All right guys, well, it's raining, it's uh, pretty humid, so I had to turn on the fan. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Obviously you wanna be careful tightening these down. I'm just going until it's like right there and then hang tightening. There we go. Well, this is a different hood, but let's see if I can zoom in. If you see right behind, the bottom bolt you can see where the old washer used to be on the bracket same with the top I'm gonna try position um, those bolts where they were different hood but it should technically line up to the same area that way we shouldn't have any problems so I'm gonna give that a go also I just turned off that GoPro because it was doing this oh focus look how humid it is it's fogging in the lens so I guess this is a one camera operation today. Those are all tightened. Once this fitment's fine, once I tweak it, I'll just undo one bolt Loctite and put it in. Now I'm gonna replace these shocks uh, with the worn out ones, and then we're gonna see how it fits. Let's remove this before I forget about it. So you can see how weak these old ones are because this one held it up by itself this new one and now this uh, old one can't even hold it up so that's what I want I want both of them to be able to hold it up uh, not to force pressure onto the actual carbon fiber I may I mean these shocks when I lift this hood up at the uh, track, I'm going to have to wedge something in there. I don't want to put the heaviest struts in there. It will break something. Okay, this gap right now looks a bit bigger than here, but it's not in position. Okay, it won't close. 
so yeah so you can see the hood is a bit this way so something is gonna come down on this side and then it should straighten it out let's get that done well there you have it guys look how awesome that looks so it's pretty contrasty on the camera more so in person but it's still contrasty in person it looks sweet carbon fiber right there carbon fiber right there a mm, little bit different weave but overall i think it looks sweet let's actually close the garage door so we can see that weave on the wing So that looks sweet. Love it, love it, love it, love it. That looks sweet, guys. So I actually, when I ordered this, I found somebody that ordered the exact same one and he installed it about a month ago on Facebook. I'm gonna contact him to see if he put any uh, heat protection on there because I wanna take this for a drive. And once I hear from him, I will either put some of this on and then I'll film myself putting it on or I'll take it for a drive. Um, but yeah, well, for you guys it's going to be about three seconds and now we're going to jump into the car and go for a drive. running at 220 right in the middle which cars normally do then uh, we're saving some 30 degrees which is gonna count nicely on the track I also believe it's gonna add some uh, downforce um, once I put that front splitter on it's gonna drive more air inside the engine compartment and then come out the top here giving me some uh, front wheel downforce and help my turning up so yeah, so far I like it. Well guys, I got some footage with Ilya and now we're doing some photos at the spot where I destroyed my drone. I do have a little dirt on my wheels there. But uh, yeah, the hood is good. Ilya's car is actually running 20 or 30 degrees cooler than mine. So I must have run hot, period. But that's the, the hood right there. I think it looks sick. So hopefully there was a little bit of footage of the hood. Honestly, uh, now I'm questioning why my car is running a bit hot because Ilias is running 20 degrees cooler, 20, 30 degrees cooler, and he doesn't have uh, the vents on there. Uh, maybe I need a coolant flush or something, but either way, I'm not too worried because it seems fine. It's not overheating. It's still under uh, the, the middle heat. But uh, one thing you can do I don't know if you can see it on camera. Probably not. You can see all the heat escaping. Uh, like a mirage. So that's pretty cool. So far, I love the look. I don't know if I'm going to add insulation. The guy on Facebook never got back to me. Um, yeah. So next up on the channel, I have to do the front splitter. I'm getting new tires. I have to put a tow hook on the front and the rear. And then I'm going to go over all the issues I've had with this in the last couple of months due to, I guess, COVID manufacturing problems or so on, who knows. 
and then I'll also be going over all my track experience. But guys, do yourself a favor, leave a comment below to get your one entry for the $6,400 Sonic Toolbox. And if you want even more entries, support Extelgic and I by clicking the other link down below and buying some merch. I've got a couple ideas on what merch is gonna be coming out next for me because clearly you guys don't give a shit about my logo, which is understandable. But maybe some chunky is the new hunky shirts might work for you big guys out there. Or 0.0, .0 I don't run. But anyways guys, until next time, I'll see you then.